Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of 60 Second Sneaker Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing the Union LA and Nike Jordan 1 High Collaboration Black Toe. As always, if you enjoy this content and find it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom. I'm going to be posting about two new videos a week um, and I like to keep my reviews short and sweet so you can get on with your day. With that in mind, let's start the review. Alrighty, first things first as always, sizing. Uh, this is not any different than any of my other Jordan 1s. I went with a size 9.5 with this. This fit me perfectly. Uh, no complaints there. Um, I gotta be honest, this shoe is honestly all hype for me at this point just because of how much um, hype this has been getting for, especially after the Jordan documentary. All the resale prices for literally every Jordan 1 has gone up quite a bit. Um, so once I saw, I mean, I actually had these sitting on ice for a while. And once I saw how expensive these were, I really just made the decision to stop wearing them. Um, this leather is actually really nice and soft all around, which can also mean that it's also very prone to scratching and wear, which is one thing to consider um, if you're planning on buying these or considering them. In terms of pricing, I gotta say, these are insane. These have been going anywhere between about $1,600 to as high as $2,800 for a pair of Jordans. That's insane. Unless you're Ben Baller or making tons of money, I think it'd be kind of irresponsible to buy these. There's tons of other sneakers out there that are really good that would probably look just as great as these, if not better. Um, honestly, because this is mostly hype, and I say irresponsible, but you're thinking, well, why does he have a pair? Is he irresponsible? And you know what? I am. So anyway, um, in terms of the shoe itself, like I no real other things outside of that um i did wear these like once or twice and outside of that i was like you know what there's no way i can really justify keeping this pair considering how expensive it is living in the bay area how expensive it is out here so you know what i'm going to be able to say goodbye to these shoes but i did really like um just the different cuts of leather this is like a nice new buck here for this swoosh and the leather on the toe box and the heel cup and even just up here this feels kind of like a sweater sort of or sorry like a sweatpants sort of material it's nice and soft but i am gonna have to let these go just considering how expensive these are um, so that's that for my review. So overall, would I recommend them? Absolutely not. Um, so that's all for my review. As always, if you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom. I'm going to be posting about two new videos a week. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching.